channel and happy October. So for my first video for October, I thought it would only be appropriate to do a Halloween look. I'm actually quite proud of myself. It, I have been practicing and practicing and practicing trying to get this look down. I'm quite pleased with how it came out. If you want to learn how to do this look, make sure you keep on watching but before we get started make sure you go down and you give me a thumbs up and you subscribe make sure you turn that notification bell on so you can be notified every time i come out with a new video make sure you follow me on facebook and instagram at rebecca christine makeup and let's go ahead and jump into it be prepared i don't have makeup on let's go so i'm not gonna put primer on my face because half my face is gonna be covered in face paint so I'm just going to go ahead and do the first half of my face with my normal makeup and then we'll get started with the skeleton on the other side. Let me go ahead and put up my hair and let me bring you guys in a little bit closer. I'm going to go ahead and put the foundation concealer over my entire face. I am not going to do my eyebrow, my eyeshadow, or my lipstick just yet. I'm not going to do them on this side. But I will do my eyeshadow and my eyebrow on this side and I'm going to do my makeup, my lipstick last just because I don't want to accidentally smear it around. So for my foundation, I am using the Rimmel London and this is the Match Perfection. And this is in the shade Ivory. This does not have a pump, so it it's just a jar and a lid. So I'm going to just take some of my finger and put that all over my face. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. blending sponge and I'm just going to tap it into the skin. And it is already dampened. I definitely recommend making sure your blending sponge, whatever brand it is, that you dampen it before use. It actually helps the product get into the skin a little bit better and since it's wet, it doesn't soak up your product as much as if you were using it dry. For my concealer, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair, and I'm just going to use it to cover up any dark circles and imperfections that I have in my skin. And I'm using it to highlight on the one side of my face, but I'm not going to do it on the side that's going to have the skull. Basically, what I'm aiming for is to have one side the way I would normally do makeup, and then I will do the other side with the... um with the face paint. And this and I am just covering up imperfections on this side and my dark circle that I have underneath that eye as well. And then to do my eyebrow, I'm going in with my with my Milani Stay Put brow. It comes in a little pomade with a little brush and this is in the shade Natural Taupe and I'm going to go in and just do one of my eyebrows the way I normally would. All right, and that's one brow that's done. We just brush it, make sure I don't have any clumps of that pomade. This one seems to like to crumble a little bit on me, but it gives me a good natural color uh, with my brows. I do have some blonde spots in my brows because I am naturally a, a blonde. I'm gonna go ahead and take my I Want Candy Candy Palette, and I'm just going to use the Banana Cream Pie as my base for my lid. I'm going to go ahead and use pastry in my crease just to warm it up a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with my taupe berry just to warm it up just a little bit more. And now I'm going to go in with chocolate and we're going to aim that for right on the outside corners of my eyes and we're going to smoke it out go in with my medium shadow brush and I'm gonna go in with sugared strawberry and I'm just gonna pack that onto the lid you can spray it if you want you can even lay down a layer of concealer and that's gonna give you more of a cut crease if you do it that way but it will also help you get more pigmentation this I'm actually not looking for anything too pow but I will show you if you do it with your finger you get just that little bit more of pigmentation that you need. That seems to be working much better for me right now. I don't want anything too, too crazy, but I want 
it to look like a natural, how I would normally naturally do my makeup on one side. Now I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black and I'm going to make a wing. into my concealer one more time and a regular concealer brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of the concealer on the back of my hand and I'm going to clean up the liner just a little bit and it's going to make it look more uh, straighter and sharper by doing it that way. All right so that's all I'm going to do as of right now on this side I will come back to it Okay, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go in with my NYX Retractable Eyeliner in Black. And I am going to just make an outline of basically what I'm doing so I have something to follow by. Because this will be a lot easier to cover up any mistakes than it would if I'm using a liquid liner first. So I'm going to start with my nose. And I'm going to be filling all of this in later. I'm going to start with that for now. It will make more sense the more I start going into it. Bear with me. I'm going in with my Wet n Wild paint pot in white and I'm just going to fill in the all around the black. Okay, and now I'm just going to go in with a regular Sephora brand liquid liner. Um, I can't tell you exactly what this is. The label has completely worn off, but I know it's just a Sephora brand and it's just a plain black eyeliner. I've had this for so long, I can't even tell you. But I'm going to go over the black to deepen it and I'm going to kind of start to draw it in a little bit and then I'm going to draw it in more to make it more matte with a black eyeshadow. I'm changing the line just a little bit. I didn't really like how that line was. I'm basically just turning it into a triangle. Don't worry about this not being perfect and missing spots because like I said, I'm going to be go by, going back in and covering it. Now this is almost out. This is why I don't mind not to be using this as the liner and to be coloring it in because it is almost out anyway. So if you keep seeing me shaking it, that is why. And this would probably be a lot easier using like a one of those chubby stick uh, black lipsticks or even paint. I don't have any, so I am using what I have to be able to create this look but it can be redone using those. Okay, I'm going to give that a little bit of a break and I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow and clean those two up a little bit as, as of right now. I'm going in with an angled shadow brush and back to the I Want Candy palette. There is a very nice pigmented matte black in here that when you use to cover something like this, it really sticks to the stickiness of the liner and it just makes it so much more darker and matte looking. So I'm just going to go in with that and clean this up. Okay, that's not quite giving me the coverage I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Wet n Wild liner and just a little bit in the spots that really need it. And I'm going to use a sponge and dab it around to try and spread it around so it's not concentrated in one area. I really like this liner, so I'm trying not to use all of this one. And you have your nose and your eye. Now, let's try this one again. I'm going to try it with this. It's not quite coming out kind of more of a charcoal color right now. Now don't worry that I didn't follow the line. It's all going to be drawn in black anyways. I did cover up the teeth a little bit, but I'm going to be going back in with some white paint anyways. And we're going to try to add a little extra layer of white to the teeth. And 
Now I'm going to go in with, this is just a small lip brush. I'm going to go in with that black again and I'm going to add some dimension and shadow to these teeth. All right. Now I'm just going in with the medium concealer brush and I'm gonna get that black and I'm gonna add just some to the outside, add, make a little bit of shading so it'll add a little bit of dimension to this look. And I will blend this out. Don't even worry about that, okay? Right now I'm just dotting it on. I don't mind how dirty it looks because I want this to be more terrifying. You don't want clean you don't want clean cut lines when you're doing any of this. Okay, and now we're just gonna add in some cracks to this look. So I'm just gonna go in with my wet and wild liner again and just with a very light hand. Okay. We're gonna try it with the other one since it's running out. This one just is so pigmented, it's too black for this look. Okay, now that I got that done, I'm just going to go in with my black eyeshadow again and add a little bit of shading to all of this. Smudge it around. And smudge this out just a little bit more. You want to pat it. You don't want to roll it on your face back and forth like this because you will remove the white paint and then it'll leave you looking splotchy. So you definitely don't want to do that, but you want to smudge it for sure. Now that this side is done, we're going to go ahead and go back and finish this side. We're going to bronze it up. We're going to add a little bit of uh, highlighter and then we're going to do the half of the lips. So this is just a free sample I got when I ordered the Too Faced makeup, but this is just the Chocolate Salil powder, and this is what I'm going to use as my bronzer. And I do contour with this because it is a very nice shade, and if you don't have contour on you, then this is a good way to also do that with just a small brush, and you can um, contour with this as well. So I'm just going in with a nice flat brush like this. And I just start off by just drawing a line. Darken it up to however much you want. And then you go in and there was black on my sponge. That's what I was trying to avoid getting it on this. Smudge it out something kind of like that and then blend it make sure you blend it up if you blend it down you're going to create the illusion of your cheeks sagging and we all want high cheekbones so blend it upward and your contour line you usually aim for the tip of your ear to the corner of your mouth so you want to keep it in this way but don't make a straight line all the way through and because this side is my normal side i contour part of my nose Be very careful doing this. You don't want to get the black on the sponge like I did because it's going to be a pain and then you're going to get black spots everywhere. Now I'm going to go ahead and waterline my eyes. I'm going to use my NYX Tractable Liner. I'm going to do both eyes too just to make this one just a little bit darker. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with just a small want a small flat brush like this this is the medium flat liner brush this is perfect and you want to make sure you don't have anything else on this one so I'm gonna go in with the colors I used so I'm gonna go in with my taupe berry under my eyes with a little bit of chocolate on the outer corner of that and get a clean brush that has nothing on it and just smudge it out your finger just works better with this that brush was too big and it didn't work so this is now a small shadow brush and this is actually less dense and more fluffier so it's gonna smudge it out 
a little bit better and it'll be easier to control of where it's going. That's my... Okay, so now I'm gonna go in and highlight and I'm using this whipped cream and I'm gonna do the inner corner of my eye, the under my eyebrow, my cheek, and just slightly, like half what you would normally do on your Cupid's bow and this, that way it just gives the uh, illusion of what you normally would do. So you'll highlight half your Cupid's bow, half your nose, and I always use my finger for this part because it's just easier for me to control of how much I actually want on there. I almost forgot eyelashes. And I'm just going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Best mascara I've ever used. It is my ride or die mascara right now. And I desperately need to go out and get a new one. I can't use other mascara, nothing looks right to me anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the half of my lip over here with the NARS Velvet Lip Pencil, and this is just in the shade Cruella. You can sharpen these, I need to, it's not very sharp. But I love these, they add just the right amount, and they're matte, and they're just so gorgeous. All right, you guys, and that is gonna be it on this video. If you liked it, make sure you go down and you give me a thumbs up and you subscribe. Make sure you turn your notification bell on so you can be notified every time I come out with a new video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Rebecca Christine Makeup. And if there's anything you guys wanna see in my next video, make sure you go down and leave me a comment so I know. Please feel free to share with your friends. Uh, I'll see what else I can put together, but I hope you all enjoyed. Happy Halloween.